Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Majestic speaking, and today we're going to be looking back into some more MechWarrior Online here. Except today, I'm going to be going back through one of my old favorites of all time. This is my Dual Goss Firebrand. Uh, it's a Jaeger Mech chassis. And uh, yeah, I, I, you know, sometimes I just really like to revisit some of my old favorites, look back on them. This is one of the first mechs I ever got in the game um, when, when I first started playing. Um, I've been playing the game about eight months now, something like that, eight or nine months, roughly. So, you know, to, to go back to one of the originals that I had, uh, it is an Inner Sphere mech and so forth. Uh, it's it's kind of like a little deja vu, and, um, yeah, it's I'm just excited to at least... I figured it would be kind of a cool idea, given the fact that it's New Year's. A little bit of uh, nostalgia here, so... As for the loadout that I have on this thing, I do have an XL265 in there. It goes 71 kph, dual gauss, right arm, left arm, four medium lasers, two in the right torso, two in the left torso. And the only place it's maxed out uh, armor except a little bit in each arm. I have the torsos maxed out, obviously, because of the XL engine to keep protection on there. Center torso is maxed out, head is maxed out. And um, I took a lot off on the legs, as you can see. There's 28 hard points still available that I could have used, but I took those off. So, <coughs> excuse me. There are. That's the difference. The this is the other side of the spectrum. So whereas you'll go heavy armament, less armor, and you know less speed. Um, and then there's obviously the uh, more speed, more armor, less armament. So this is the other side of it. I do. I normally do the uh, you know more conservative approach with. Uh, more armor and more speed. This time I'm going the opposite. So I have the armament there with the Gauss rifles, three and a half tons of ammo, and uh, you know the four medium lasers, all while maintaining a 1.32 heat management ratio. Definitely one of my favorite mechs of all time to take on the battlefield. I love using the dual Gauss, and the positioning of the rifles is perfect because, again, the cockpit is right here. They're on either side of me, so if I, I know if I can see it, I can shoot it. So. That's my whole approach with how I built this thing. I know a lot of people like to do the, uh, you know, whether it's the four AC5s um, and a couple uh, mediums or whatever, um, depending on the engine that you put in it. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, that's the, one of the builds. This is the one that I like to go with just because it kind of uh, makes me have to change my tactics, as you will. So just in case I do go to get into a group drop and they are in need of a more long-range support kind of heavy that also has the capability to brawl with four mediums, um, that's what this mech is catered to. So if you look at the loadout that I have on it, obviously the Goss is for range. Um, I'm not going to be going to the front lines or anything like that. I'm going to be standing behind my assaults and uh and you know providing cover fire no one likes to get get hit with dual goss it, being on the receiving end of that is just a, a date with death in other words so as for the modules that i have on it i do have advanced zoom that's what that was one of the first modules i ever bought and i put on this thing uh i put the goss rifle range and the goss rifle cooldown, and i do have the cool shot nine by nine and the six just in case it overheats and so we're going to drop right into the queue here hopefully we get three good rounds Again, not not necessarily uh, looking for the win, but at least just some good gameplay, something that you guys could see. I don't see a lot of people taking uh, Jaeger mechs out. I mean, you see them, but it's not as frequent as, you know, like a Stormcrow, an Ebon Jag, a, an, an Arctic Cheetah, you know, a Jenner, something like that. You know, those are, the, those are the ones that are a little more OP and cater towards uh, the players that, <coughs> you know, like to do the DPS, have the loadout for it. And there are those kind of uh, those standard builds, as I like to call them, that everyone knows about now, that everyone likes to try out. Even my Blackjack 1X, everyone has the same build on it now. They know what the build is, and they know how uh, how strong that mech can be if, if utilized correctly. So, you know, this is one of those mechs that not many people go back to. And uh, I, it's always going to have a special place in my heart. Um, I do enjoy the Jaeger a lot, just because of the fact that, you know, it is a heavy... It has the armament that I like, that I enjoy. It can be brawly, it can be range. It's it's pretty dynamic depending on how you outfit it. And uh, you know, being one of the first mechs that I ever got, I just thought that that was a that it's a neat mech. Uh, to especially, this is the mech. I will tell you this. You know, this is a little secret. This is the mech that I learned how to lead my targets with in in Mech Warrior. 
Um, I use the dual Goss, I use the auto cannons, and those are that's how I got my liking for ballistics so much is using is using this mech specifically. So if you really want to get good at leading your targets and stuff like that, I highly recommend using this one just because of the placement of the ballistic hard points um, and the loadout that you can put. You know, if you could put two two dual dual Goss, even if you miss with the first one and you decide to do like a, you know. Uh, a, cycle your goss in other words do one shot and then the other shot i like to fire them both i like to make sure and and you know i, I take the positives with the negatives if i miss it's you know twice as bad that i missed but if i hit it's twice as good that i hit so now that's just how i like to play with them i got the uh the red and black paint on here i thought that it kind of went with the uh hell theme of the mech um on the front it does say you know from hell so <clears throat> Let's see how we do. We're on River City. Kind of a good map. Uh, the the thing is, these buildings provide a lot of cover for the enemy. So, uh, you know, my sniping capabilities will be um, inhibited a little bit just from that perspective. But I hope to at least, uh, you know, get some good shots in there, provide some support for my assaults. Good thing they're in some of these uh, lances that are moving up already and they're not sitting in the back. Um... And uh, hopefully I could just get some good shots in. Again, I want to be behind them. I want to provide the support over their shoulders, in other words, and getting my getting my hits that way. So hopefully we uh, we can take advantage of that and get you know, some good rounds in here, some good gameplay, and well, hopefully a win. But if we don't get the win, at least if we can get some good uh, gameplay, that's all that, at the end of the day, that's what you're looking for. So here we go, into the battle, River City. I'm going to do a little peeking up here. This is uh, one of the two spots that we need to cover. What is that? Is that a mech? No, that's just smoke. Or steam. I didn't want to fire off shots because I do only have 35 shots. Even though I wind up not even going through all of it, you know, it's good to, it's good to have. It's good to use. So, um... If I if I wasted on shooting at smoke, I'm I'm really not going to be happy with myself for that. So I don't see anyone coming around. A couple mechs crossing the water here, and again I'm in the spot where I can provide that support for them. So he's I feel like he's going to peek around that corner right here. And what they're saying on the radio communication is we have the advantage if we want to cross over now we can we can really get them um, which hopefully we can do I'm gonna get again I don't have jump jets or anything on this thing it is very very raw if you <laughs> if you know what I mean by that you know no uh, no assistance when running around in this thing I haven't gotten any shots off or anything yet Thought I could have gotten him. Might be pushing my agenda a little bit. <clears throat> he didn't like that dual goss. Neither did he. New target acquired. That king crab's hurting a little bit now. There we go. Took a little damage, but also dealt it. Man, that would have been great to hit that locust. Should I move up? Yeah, I'll get these guys from the side if I can. That King Krabby's hiding. Ooh, there we go. He's he's on top of me now because he just, he didn't like that I blew his arm off. Oh, he's dead. I'm gonna swing around here. Nice. There we go.
Owie. Centurion's not not liking the dual gloss either. And again, I do have uh, I'm maxed out on the on the armor, so a quick draw. What's he doing up there? Dang it! Where are they? I saw a blip behind me. I see one in front of me too. Okay. Timberwolf. Yeah, there he goes. Three left. You get two goss on this little raven. Or what is it, locust? Yeah! Goss, goss shots to the head, dude. And there's the last guy, die or one of the last guys. Eat it. That guy did not like that much at all. That's what I mean by leading your targets, because I got my shots off on that guy. Where is he headed? Getting hit in the back, which is nice. He's gonna run across over here. <clears throat> now he's running up in the middle. I don't know what he's trying to do. I think he's trying to get us in, in a in one of those uh, pickles kind of situations. He's gonna lose his leg. Yeah, there goes his leg, and here goes him. <laughs> there he goes. So overall decent match. I got cored in the middle by the end. Um, but providing that dual goss, no one, I'm telling you, as soon as you hit someone in the chest with dual goss, you know, warning signs go off. So 489 damage. And, uh, you know, I got two kills, eight assists. Nice round overall. Definitely got, and, and what I mean by, you know, the, the map is everything. Uh, they were in between the buildings, but... You know, if you can line yourself up correctly and, you're, and the rest of your team can line up correctly, you really can do the same amount of damage as you would on, on like a tourmaline where it's just open flatland, you know? So that's uh, that's that, but <laughs> it worked out in our favor. We had, we had a very aggressive team, you know, when we pushed over, we caught, we caught them off guard. So that gave us the victory, but let's drop into the second match here. Hopefully we can get uh, another great round. I actually wouldn't mind... What wouldn't I mind? Uh, we're probably going to wind up on Frozen City, but I'll vote for the for Caustic. And it looks like it's we might be heading to Caustic, which would be very interesting. Uh, nope. Yes, we wound up on Caustic. Interesting. So this is a, uh, a ver another very open map. And, uh, you know, it doesn't generate heat for my weapons the, using the Gauss. The medium lasers obviously do, but <clears throat> even just because of that, you know, the uh, having the Gauss there as, as my primary weapon not generating, generating any heat, that puts me at an advantage. So keep that in mind. Gauss does not generate heat. For those of you who don't know that, um, yeah, if you do, great. <laughs> But hopefully we could get another good round of gameplay in here. Again, this this map should be catered more to uh, this build. Just because it is a little more open. Um, you do have the range that's there. And as long as you can stick with your assaults, you should be able to get the get the hits that you need in order to A, chase them off, B, scare them. Ooh. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> but here we go. Caustic Valley. Drop ship engaged. And this is one of the few maps that I noticed that night vision is actually not half bad. I mean, they still need to work on it a lot more, but 
you know, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just going to say it's one of the better maps that they've done the job with for uh, from the night vision perspective. And I do see like reminiscence of the uh, of the old Caustic Valley. If you guys remember the old Caustic Valley, uh, this one does have similar. Like this would be that ridge, and those are the the peaks that were before. Except now it's a little smaller. It's a tighter space to move in through. So uh, and this uh, this dire wolf might get caught, which would be great because if we could get an assault out of the way. Ooh, this. And here come the LRMers. That's probably who voted for this map, is the LRMers, because they also have the, the clear shots. I guess he had an XL engine, ladies and gentlemen, because he just got raped. Goss to the... What, I guess that was his right torso. And uh, he went down like a sweet muffin. Oh, I thought he was out. Never mind. No! LRMers! Kill yourselves. And I'm cored up already. Great. I went from champ to chump in like three seconds. But if I stick with the pack, I could still provide the support that I'm looking to do. Yes. This is what I mean. Stick with stick in the group. Don't need to be the hero. Although it is fun to be the hero. Oh boy. I'm gonna fire down on them. Owie! No! No! I guess that's a. I got an advertisement or something in the back from one of the other videos that I was watching. So just disregard that. I'm gonna try and talk over it. That's what I'm gonna do. That's gonna be my. That's gonna be my way to, to counter. Hide. Woo. Yeah, it was an advertisement for a movie. <laughs> Oh boy. Where is it coming from? Over there. Over yonder. I don't want to stand out in the open if I can stand behind these guys. And there we go. There is the W. Hey, I know Buchanan. Wait a minute. I didn't even check who was on my team. Only 279 damage little different from the last one but you know our team played pretty well so we were all in a very very good position there yeah Buchanan yeah interesting nice work overall pretty good and then we'll go into the third and final uh, map of the day hopefully we get another good round drop straight into the queue here <clears throat> Now, let's see. Um, actually, I'm totally fine with any of these except Forest Colony. I'll say Mining Collective just because it's great for picking people off and positioning. Um, but of course we wind up on Frozen City because everyone, you know, everyone's laser vomiting. So we're going to wind up uh, sticking with this.
Frozen City's a... Uh, it's definitely one of the player favorites. A lot of people know how to play on it by now. Um, just because of the fact that it's so cold, so you can really run any build that you want. Um, it's rather small, so it's built more for, for brawling and skirmishes. And, I mean, I say that as we're playing Conquest, but... Yeah, overall, it's a it's a good it's a good time. I I enjoy this map like anyone else does, just because of the positioning and so forth. And even this is a nice little perch I have up here if I wanted to really snipe. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get in the thick of it, lay down some fire on these on these guys, rain some, bring some hell. In other words, that's the that's the whole isn't that the motto of this thing? Like from hell. It's considered to be from hell. A mech from hell. No, get in there before. Ah, oh, I made it. I got the hundred sea bills for capturing. Yay! Go team! Woohoo! Wahoo! Hundred sea bills. Best day ever. Happy oh, happy new year, by the way. Today, yeah. Happy new year to everyone. Um, <laughs> totally forgot. Today is the thirty-first, so. Happy, happy new year to you. And at the end of this video, I will be giving the announcement for the next giveaway. So in case any of you guys care to or have been listening to the whole video. Do not stand behind me, please. Thank you. This is a bad spot. You're not going to get me. Or you will, because I backed up. I'm going to go and hide. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Woo! Those are some brutal shots. You want to die, clown? I led that charge over the hill, which felt kind of cool. No! Leave me alone. This atlas is, is going to eat some serious poo-poo. <laughs> no! Yeah, he's eating some doo-doo. Oh my gosh, more advertisements. That's right, it adds... Ooh, that was a sick shot! Did anyone see that? That's what I call leading your target, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! oh I thought I got him. I thought I nicked him in the brain. What are these stupid advertisements for, anyway? I'm not watching anything. Hackers! Someone's hacking me. Telling me I should watch a movie I really don't care to see. Ooh, boy. Who's left? Two people? What are they on? Theta? Theta? You say Theta? I say Theta. <laughs> um, where are they? Target acquired. How far away are you? Oh, really? And a pirate's bane, really? And he's running away. Come on, man. Don't make us chase you. Just be a man. Take your punishment. There he goes. Oh. Okay. Well, Buchanan got the last two kills, so that's pretty cool. 
But there you go. There's three rounds of, uh, of gameplay for the Jaegermech Firebrand. One of my all-time favorites. 302 damage. Not as good as the other rounds, but I'll take it. I'll take it. You know? 241,000 C bills. I have this thing mastered. It has speed tweak. It has all the, you know, nooks and crannies that you would want it to have. So this is why it's one of my favorite mechs is, is stuff like that. The sheer DPS and fear factor of this thing. As soon as you see that, uh, that this thing has two, two Gauss rifles mounted on it, you don't really want to be caught in front of that. And most of the times, if you get a shot off, everyone usually winds up backing up and hiding um, and waiting, hopefully, with uh, you know support from other mechs uh, in their units. So in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, I'll be doing some more collaborations and stuff soon, so if you want to tune into those, I'll leave the uh, links in the description to a couple of the other channels that I've been playing with some guys for, so if you want to check out those, you could get a different perspective, a different vantage point from the game. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like this build, or you have a build that's similar to it, um, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And, uh, oh, the giveaway. <laughs> Duh. Um, 500 subscribers. That is the next milestone for me in this channel. Um, I'm at 360 or something like that. Something, I don't even know how many I'm at right now. Um, there's three something. I know that. So I know I, I, I'm past my last mile, mile marker now. And I'm heading into the new year. So I hope that, you know, with the new year comes some, some good things. I've gotten a ton of great feedback, some emails, a lot of support from you guys and i really do appreciate it all so thank you guys so much for that but the giveaway is going to be for 500 subscribers and that is going to be um i think i'm going to make it i can't i haven't decided if i want to make it three or five i'll, I'll figure it out if i can um, fit it in um budget wise if i could do five but i'm going to give away a uh, a mech of your choice that's the whole thing that i want to do whether um it's a mastery pack of, of, of a mech, or what I would like to do is do the collector's version of the mechs that are coming out. So it's something that you guys can look forward to, as opposed to something that is already existing in the game. Um, if, an, if I could get to 500 subscribers before, you know, either the, the Rifleman, Warhammer, Archer, one of those guys are, are released, uh, I think I'll do it for that. So, you know what? I'll, I'll make it that now. I'll say it's, I haven't decided between three or five yet. But it is going to be for the collector's pack of one of those three mechs um, that are coming out. The Archer, the Rifleman, or the Warhammer. So once I get to 500 subscribers, again, I do want you guys to email me. I am not accepting any other inquiries because I don't know who... I'm not just going to pick names on the channel and then if you guys are never on YouTube or something like that, uh, I'll just be sending gift codes to someone I don't even know really exists. So you do have to email me. I will leave my email in the description if you do want to be a part of the giveaway. Uh, just shoot me an email and let me know that you want to be a part of it. And all you have to say is, uh, you know... Whether I, I name one of the three mechs that are in that are coming out, and just say you know Archer giveaway or Warhammer giveaway, and that'll be the one that if you win, I'll I'll gift code it to you. Um, so yeah, send me an email if you want to participate in the giveaway. Again, I thank you guys again for the support, and hopefully we could get to 500 subscribers before uh, you know all these three mechs are released. I know that they're coming out rather soon, and I know it's kind of a tall order, but even if I don't. You know, you guys will have one of the newer mechs when they do. So, thank you guys so much again for the support. Thank you again for, uh, you know, tuning into the channel, participating in the giveaways. I, I love all the feedback that you've given me so far. Remember to email me if you do want to be in the giveaway. That is once I reach 500 subscribers. And everyone, I want to say this again. Have a happy, happy new year. Enjoy it with your friends, your family, whoever you're celebrating with. Have a great time. All right? I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.